is Monica and welcome to Comic Cat Creations. Thank you so much for tuning in and if you're new I would love it if you could subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any more videos and if you're already subscribed welcome back and thank you for coming back. So in today's tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to sew this really basic dress that I'm wearing now. I think this is going to be a pretty easy sewing tutorial because it's a pretty simple dress. So it'll be the perfect tutorial if you just want something quick and easy to sew or if you're new with working with stretch knit fabrics or new to making clothes in general. I think this will be a good place to start. I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and if you have any questions let me know and yeah I guess I'm going to go ahead and get into the tutorial. For this dress, I used about two yards of a stretch knit fabric, although I'd actually recommend getting two and a half yards so you'll have plenty of room to work. I did have a little fabric left over because my fabric was quite wide, but having that extra length would have made it easier to fit everything. And again, make sure you've got a stretchy fabric. We don't need any patterns or measurements, you'll just need to grab a well-fitting tank top to use as a template. Try on your tank top and decide where on your body you'll want the skirt of your dress to start flaring out, and you'll want to fold the bottom edge of the tank top up to this point. Then you'll need to fold the tank top in half down the center, and we'll use this as our pattern. Set the tank top aside for a moment and grab your fabric. Fold a large portion of it over and smooth it out, making sure that when you're folding it, the direction your fabric stretches in should be going in the direction I've placed the arrows, which is perpendicular to the way you're folding it. It's important your fabric stretches in this direction, which you can see as I'm tugging on it here, so that once the dress is done, it's easy to get on and off. Lay your tank top template near the top corner of the fabric, placing it so that the center fold of your tank top lines up with the fold of the fabric, and pin it into place in several places to secure it. Begin cutting out your dress by following the shape of the neckline, and it's very important that you cut at least a half inch larger around the tank top to allow room for seam allowance. Continue cutting along the shoulder and armhole, then continue along the side of the tank top, all with a half inch extra, but make sure to stop cutting when you reach the bottom edge of your tank top, just like I do, because you don't want to cut along that bottom edge. Next, we'll be cutting out the skirt portion, so starting at the waist, you'll begin cutting diagonally outward, flaring it as much as you'd like. So if you cut the skirt at a much larger angle than mine, it'll flare out more along the sides, and if you cut it at a smaller angle, it'll be more fitted along the hips. Keep in mind that because the skirt and bodice are being cut all together, this will fit a bit differently than a typical skater dress does. Cut the skirt to your desired length, adding a half inch for hem allowance, and then you'll want to create a gentle curve cutting toward the fold of the fabric to create the bottom edge of the dress. Once you're done cutting, you can remove your tank top and unfold your dress. You'll be left with a shape like this that has a nice fitted bodice portion and then a flared out skirt with the gentle curve along the bottom edge. And here's what it looks like sideways all in one shot because I couldn't fit it in one shot on the table. Now you'll want to use that dress piece as a template to cut out a second identical dress piece so you have a front and a back. And they're both exactly the same so it doesn't really matter which one is the front and which one is the back, but I knew I wanted the front neckline to be slightly lower so I trimmed the neckline down on one of the dress pieces. Lay one of your dress pieces onto your table with the correct side of the fabric facing up, then lay the other piece down on top of it so that the correct sides of the fabric are now facing together, and smooth it out and match up all the edges. Begin pinning the pieces together, first along one shoulder and then along the other shoulder, then you'll want to pin all the way along the side of your dress from the armpit to the bottom of the skirt. Repeat by pinning the other side together as well, and once you're done pinning, you'll want to sew the pieces together along one side, then sew along the other side, and then you'll also want to sew along each shoulder as well. Since we're working with stretch fabric, you'll need to sew with a ballpoint needle and use either a stretch stitch or a zigzag stitch, either of which will allow your seams to stretch when you stretch the fabric. I like my machine's straight stretch stitch, which is the one in blue that I'm pointing to, because it's super easy to use. You can usually find the types of stretch stitches in your machine's manual, or you can just use a zigzag stitch. Make sure to use a half inch seam allowance and remove the pins as you go, and always backstitch at the beginning and end of your seams. You can see here how the seam is able to stretch thanks to using either a stretch or a zigzag stitch. Once you've got the sides and shoulders sewn together, the body of the dress is complete, and you can even try it on now if you'd like. And then all we have to do is hem the raw edges, and we'll start with the neckline first. 
Make sure the dress is inside out to hem it, and I turned it over to the back of the neck just so it's easier for you to see. Begin by folding the raw edge of the neck over toward the wrong side of your fabric about a quarter of an inch. Then fold it over again another quarter inch and pin the fold down. Continue double folding and pinning along the whole back of the neck. When you get to the shoulder seams, make sure to flatten out the seam allowance before double folding and pinning, and then continue along to the front of the neck until the entire neckline has been double folded and pinned into place. You'll need to sew all the way around the neckline to secure your hem, and to do this I still recommend using either a stretch or a zigzag stitch so that if the neckline stretches when you take the dress on and off, it won't hurt the stitches. This time I chose the stretch stitch here in blue that I'm pointing to, which is one of the more decorative looking stitches to add a nice design detail. Use your presser foot as a guide and take your time as you sew around the curves so that you get a nice even looking hem. You'll want to hem the armholes exactly the same way, so double fold and pin them down and then use the same stitch to sew each armhole into place. The neckline and armholes are now neatly and beautifully finished and the stitches will stretch without breaking, and now your final step is just to hem the bottom edge of the skirt. Again, make sure your dress is inside out, and then double fold and pin the hem into place. Only this time, if you don't want to pin the whole skirt hem into place before sewing, since it'll take a bit of time to do, you can just pin a small section of the hem before taking it to the sewing machine. Sew those few inches into place, and then once you get to the unpinned portion, you can simply double fold a few inches of the fabric and sew that portion down before folding the next few inches and stitching that down too. You'll get into an easy rhythm of folding a little and sewing, repeating the process until before you know it, the whole skirt has been hemmed and it took way less time than pinning it all down first. And then once you complete that step, congratulations because you now have your very young cute dress to wear. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. If you make this or any of my projects, don't forget to use the hashtag Creations on Instagram so I can see what you're making and reshare your photos. Have a great day and I'll see y'all in another tutorial soon. Bye. <coughs> your own clothes or starting to work with... <coughs> ah, new with working... <coughs> Ma'am. Or stretch... <coughs> ah. Or you if you just... Blah. 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 Blah.